Hi, my name is Ellery Ward and I'm here at Playbill to give you a little taste of my album, Keep a Tender Distance. My new album, Keep a Tender Distance, um, wow, there's so much to say. It is very much a push and pull and an exploration of proximity and being distant from the thing that you want, um, whether it be super close to you but just so far away or so far in the past that you can't get it back, I just find that very intriguing. So each song on the album explores that kind of proximity and yearning in its own way. Um, and throughout musically, I really wanted to play with the movement and motion and their life moves forward, just like this album moves forward track by track. And you can't um, totally encapsulate that kind of theme without exploring it musically and sonically as well. And I had a lot of fun incorporating new instruments on this album that weren't on the first one as a means to push that forward. It's definitely more of a thematic, um, like con conceptual album for me this time around, which was very, very fun to play around with. When it came to A Perfect Little Death, I, I feel like I recorded that on a whim. I made it all alone in my closet. It was very DIY and like spur of the moment. And I just sort of like collected these songs that I loved and recorded them within a month at home and then churned them out and made this thing, um, which is totally different <laughs> than, than Keep a Tender Distance. Because thankfully I now have the support of Ghostlight Records and they've been such an amazing support system for my music and so I had them on my side with this album. I called my producer that I worked with on my original music, Alan Tate, our friend Ellis Ludwig Leon. He, he has such a genius arranging brain and so I knew I wanted to have strings on this album. That was like my dream of dreams and if anyone was going to arrange the strings, it was going to be Ellis. And thankfully, he signed on to the project as well. And um, yeah, we we just like went to town for a couple of months over the course of I think like ten sessions in the studio. And now it now it's out in the world, and I'm like it's my baby. And now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> but yeah, it was a very collaborative experience, which was totally opposite from the first album um, and I loved it. I, I mean, I definitely did take some suggestions from fans and everyone, like friends, everyone, but I also have just like a very privileged history with Sondheim. Like I'm very privileged to have known Sondheim since a young age. I went to an arts high school in Chicago and my teachers, Pat Rusk and Andy Robinson were huge Sondheim people and uh, always assigned Sondheim scenes and songs. And we usually did a Sondheim show. I definitely don't know everything. There's still a lot I have to learn. And I mean, there are some hidden gems in the shadows everywhere when it comes to the Sondheim canon. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I'm just really lucky to have a, an education in his, in his shows and in his music that I'm now able to like express through my lens. And now here's a sneak peek from my album, Keep a Tender Distance. This is I Remember from Evening Primrose. Like final 
Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Playbill for having me. You can listen to my album, Keep a Tender Distance, through Ghostlight Records on any streaming platform. And parks and bridges, ponds and